Hello, Pastor Preston is my name. I'm so excited to come your way today. Today I want to talk to you about trust in the Lord. I have two beautiful stories to share with you. You know, a lot of time um, we want the things that we want, but we always don't think about the fact that um, it may not just be the best thing for you. The scripture says in Isaiah, it says, just as the heaven is far from the earth, right, so are his ways far from the ways of man. But of course, we understand that in the New Testament, a man who has been born again, who have aligned his values with his values, uh, most likely can think his ways and, under, and know his ways. Glory to God, somebody. So it's only ordinary men who find themselves falling in that kind of challenge where um, they cannot comprehend the ways of God. When a Christian begins to grow in the word of God, he begins to align his value with the values of God and Taurus is excited with everything that God does, right? Think about the fact that Paul had, a challenge he sought the lord three times and was expecting god to take it off and god was saying my grace is sufficient for you and now he still could not deal with the challenge but he was still taking side with god right a lot of normal human beings will not take side with god they'll be angry with god and say a manner of stuff right because they've not been built and developed in the world romans chapter number 80 tells us this is what can separate me from the love of god we must learn to trust god we must allow the love of god to express the character of God out of us, where we are never disadvantaged with anything that happens wrong. Hallelujah, glory to God. We never give up, we never feel offended by what goes wrong. Jesus said something when John felt offended by him and sent men to go meet him and says, are you the one to come or should we wait for another to come? After he had witnessed of him to come, right? Jesus says, blessed is he who is not offended by me, right? We have a lot of Christians today, baby Christians who are always offended by God because they want certain things and it's not coming and they are not even thinking if what they want is really what's best for them or maybe there's a danger that is going to come with it and in God's love, he's protecting you from the danger. I remember a long time ago, my son, called me and then we're praying for a job for him in Canada. So I prayed and then we prayed and then he got an offer. XPDC Shell called him for a job. They did the interview and everything and then they said they were going to employ him, right? But they said he should just wait for a while. You know, so he was waiting. And then suddenly he heard that some people were already working, you know, and then the job was, you know, he was feeling really down. You know, he cried. He felt really bad. Even me, I felt bad. But along the line, I felt a peace in my heart. So I just relaxed, you know. So Eventually, we discover, I think that's in Fort Morel, if I'm right, uh, that city, we discover that fire had got in the town and, 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 you know, destroyed everywhere. Destroyed everywhere so much that, you know, they took a statistics, at least 10 billion US dollars, right, was what went down the drain, you know, and it, it was terrible. People lost their life, people lost their houses, their life savings, those who, were, who had acquired houses for business, they lost everything. In fact, a lot of people committed suicide, you know, people went out of job, you know, so the old place was was destroyed that was the exact place he was supposed to work where the fire had happened right that was the exact place and the painful part is when all that happened shell had to sell off the company right uh, that uh, a particular place where the, the the company was and then of course they laid off all the staffs yeah amidst the the pain already now these guys were going off job my son saw the news and he started dancing he called me was like wow this God, I don't understand, right? Sometimes you must learn to trust God. You must learn to trust God. Proverbs 3, 5 says, Trust in the Lord with all thy heart. Lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways acknowledge him and he shall direct your path. He says, lean not on your own understanding. You know why? Because your understanding has limitations. Yet you cannot think above how your mind can phantom. But in the realms of the spirit, there are no words. There are no boundaries. So God sees more than you see. And you must learn to trust him in every actions that happen, right? Just recently, I had another story of a, of a pastor who was traveling on a private jet with his friends and staffs. And then while he was in front of the jet, he wanted to write. So he wanted to bring out the tray so he could put his writing materials and write. And then usually from the, the normal jet that he takes, the tray just comes at this end. So he was pulling that thing by the end so he could get the tray. You know, he was pulling and he was pulling and he was pulling and was not coming. So he looked back and he saw his friend had pulled his own and was already writing. So the friend said, okay, let me come and help him. And then the friend came and two of them were pulling the tray, pulling the stuff, right? And something just said, look up. And then they looked up and then they saw it was emergency exit. <laughs> 
Whoa. So imagine they'll be thinking, why is it not working? Oh God, why and all that? If that thing had pulled, they would have flown out of that plane. And usually, one man's strength can pull that emergency exit. But unfortunately, the two people were pulling it and it refused to open. See how God just saved their life, right? Sometimes you don't know how God saves your life in that nice thing that you're desiring God to, to do for you, right? But you're complaining, you're frustrated, you're talking like God is wicked. But I wish God could open your eye to see you be eternally grateful. You must learn to trust God. This is not to say tolerate mediocrity. This is not to say tolerate failure. This is not to say that uh, when there's certain things that are necessary, and then it doesn't happen, you just celebrate stupidity. No, I'm talking about when the hand of the Lord is there. But even when, no matter what it is, you must learn to be excited. The Bible says rejoice evermore. Again, I say rejoice. Nothing should make you depressed. I like what Paul said in Philippians chapter number four. Paul said, I've learned to be contented. So no matter what situation I find myself, I am just okay. I am just comf comfortable. I am just satisfied. If you will not develop satisfaction in yourself and you're hoping for something to work right for you to be excited and, and satisfied, is fine. Then the devil already knows the button to push in your life to keep you in sadness. Glory to God, somebody. It's important that you must learn to trust the actions of God. If God is involved, right, and then trust it. But if God is not involved, then fight it through to get what you want to get. But once God is involved in the stuff and God, you're doing everything and saying like God is not showing up, just leave it. Then God does not have a hand. Then God does not want you to go in that direction. And then go the direction that God wants you to go and you'll be eternally grateful. Glory to God, somebody. Trust God. You see, even when you are sleeping, the power and the spirit of God is working. Yeah? Even certain times that you just escape certain stuff, you didn't know what accident would have happened. That God saved you. You know, a lot of times, human beings will not be grateful until, you know, they see how it happened to someone in the same situation or maybe it happened to them and then they didn't die, right? But sometimes learn to be grateful to God. Learn to trust God with your decision. Trust what he, he wills. Whatever the Lord is saying, no matter what, even if it doesn't make sense, you can have more sense than him. Think about this. That's my message. Thank you for listening and God bless you.